Hey friends, this case is neighbor versus neighbor. The defendant is a little spicy potato. Um, with that being said, I am not an attorney. I am not giving any legal advice nor putting forth any legal conclusions. All comments are my opinion. All persons are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Down below in the description is the link to join my circle of friends to further support me. As you may be aware, these cases or these videos often get demonetized. It's the nature of the videos. Uh, there's also my email if you have any hot tips, things you want me to cover. It's jesskaris at gmail.com or you can get me on Instagram. My handle is at jesskaris, although email is a little flat faster at this point. With that being said, let's get over to the courtroom. Ma'am, what's your name? Young lady at DDC. Can they close the door? Can I get some What's your name? Ma'am, what's your name? Thank you, Ms. Anderson. I'm Magistrate Echartea. You're here on a criminal matter, ma'am. Your case number is... Can you hear me, ma'am? I didn't hear your name. I am Magistrate Echartea. Can you hear me clearly? Chuck Baird. Magistrate Chuck Baird. I was just yeah, it's there. Okay, but can you hear me clearly? I'm loud. <laughs> okay. Clear. Okay, I'm coming in loud. All right. Your case number, ma'am, is 2304106. You have an attorney. Go ahead, counsel. I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty. Court date is March 15, 2023. It is a free trial in front of Judge Bryant. Ms. Anderson, there are some bond conditions, ma'am. While this case is pending, you're not to possess any firearms or any other dangerous weapons. You understand that? Yes, ma'am. Also, yes, ma'am, ma while this case is pending, you're not to have any contact with the complaint. Devorah okay. Cook, Cook, Devorah Cook, that means no person to person contact, no contact with third parties, no phone calls, no emails, no text messaging. Do you understand that, ma'am? Yes, I do. Okay. And you said uh, your, court date is March, March what? your court date is March 15th in front of Judge Bryant. Judge Bryant. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Uh, count, counsel, I see that your client has ties in the trade area. It appears that their neighbors in the same really apartment complex. I'm really a homeless person, ma'am. I'm homeless. I don't say anything at all. Anything you say or no kind of will be used again. Ms. Anderson, you heard what your attorney said. No, I don't. I don't know why I have one. <laughs> I didn't. Go ahead, Ms. Jessica. Okay. So, so you know, like, I'm not Jessica. Jessica. I'm not Jessica. I'm not Jessica. I'm not Jessica. I'm not Jessica. Ms. Anderson, you spoke to a young lady earlier before you came on camera with this court. That is an attorney, and she has other co-workers that represent individuals for the arraignment process. So you have an attorney for this hearing. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Now, Ms. Jessica is representing you right now. Do you understand that? Y'all switch up a lot. I'm already confused. So who gonna, who gonna represent me on the 15th of March? Okay, you'll probably have another attorney to represent you. Before today, you have Miss Jessica and her co-workers that represent you today. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, counsel, uh, the comp your client and the complainant live in the same apartment building. Can you find out how close they are to each other? Ms. Anderson? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I believe they live on different floors. The complaining witness lives upstairs in the apartment. I don't see no place, but I guess it don't matter. I say I don't see her. Ms. Anderson. <laughs> Yes. My understanding that you and Devorah Cook 
reside in the same apartment building. If you see Miss Cook, you turn around, you walk away. Do you understand that? If Miss Cook wants to talk to you, you do not respond. You are under a court order not to have any contact with Miss Cook. Do you understand that? Yes. yes. Do you do you understand your bond conditions, Miss Anderson? Yes. Don't contact her. No. No kind of contact. No contact. Right. No contact at all. No phone calls. Okay. Um, no firearms. Okay. Council, I don't have a KPS history or criminal history, and I see that the complaint did not go to the hospital or sustain injuries, so I'm going to give her a $5,000 personal bond. Ms. Ms. Anderson, you are getting a personal bond. That means we're taking you at your word that you're going to go to court. Do not miss your court date. Do you understand that, ma'am? I know it's March the 15th. What time? 8.30 in the morning. Okay. What floor? It's in front of Judge Bryan here in 36 District Court, and it is by Zoom. Do you understand that? Okay, by Zoom. Yeah, but I don't know what floor I'm going to. I guess I have to ask somebody. Okay. She can come in person, Your Honor. Okay. My understanding from your attorney is that you can come in person. Okay. Come to 36 okay. District Court to see Judge Bryant on your court date of March 15th. Do you understand that? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> At 8.30. Thank you. All right. Thank you. March 15th. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss Anderson. That concludes your arraignment. Well, I don't know if I would like her to be my neighbor. Maybe. Anyways. Thank you for watching Chima Gwitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.